Today's video is going to be on <coughs> this, my uh, rat gun. Uh, I've done several videos on this, and what we're going to do is this we're going to be replacing a motor today. Um, I had some issues with it, and I've done other videos on that, on things that I've replaced in this. The big thing with this was I was using this uh, at a game. And all of a sudden, I had a beautiful shot. I switched to full auto, and I led a guy running like about 90 feet away with a couple of short bursts, and he ran right into the BBs. And then on like the third pull of the trigger on full auto to put a burst down, grind instantly. So I stopped, put it on safe, that was it. Didn't run the trigger anymore. What had happened... In this particular gun, the screw, bolt, whatever you call it, that goes from the piston into the piston head broke off. Okay, that in turn allowed the piston to go off at an angle, the piston head to go off, the screw dig into the cylinder, uh, mess up the cylinder head, even broke the air nozzle. So, because uh, the cylinder head went sideways and hit the side of the hop up. I checked the hop up, it was good. But the parts that were bad on this were the air nozzle, the cylinder head, cylinder, piston head, piston. Okay, five parts just destroyed. Now I looked through all the gears and the tappet plate and everything else, cleaned the gearbox all up, there was no problems internally otherwise. Uh, checked the shimming, nothing else happened. So I was going to go buy about um, I think it was $86 in parts. Now, I didn't have $86 at the time to spend, so I wasn't going to buy them. Uh, I had a brand new piston that I had bought. It was a, an Action Army piston that I'd, I had gotten a long time ago. And I had a brand new M4 Bravo brand nozzle with an O-ring in it. That's the only two new parts I had. I had, I found an old piston head that I had, or cylinder head that I had, and an old uh, cylinder that I had, brass cylinder that I had, that had a hole in it. Uh, I think that's mod zero, or mod one, or I can't, I have to look that up. And an old piston head that I had. So, used parts were the cylinder head, pi cylinder, piston head. Okay, so I had a brand new piston and a brand new air nozzle. Well, I put all that together, put some plumber's tape on the cylinder head, put it all in there, and I put the air nozzle on, put my finger, my thumb over the front, and went to push the piston in, and it would not move. I mean, fantastic air seal. I was shocked on all these old parts that mixed together. So, put it back in the gun, and the only other change that I did, it's a quick change spring gearbox. All you got to do is take the screw out, you get right to the back to get the spring out is I found two more washers that were on plastic spring guides that I had and I put them on the metal spring guide put the gun together shooting great but it has that twang sound and I'm like what the heck is that so I took the spring out and I thought I'll just take them two washers off. So I took the two washers off, lubed the one washer back up on the bottom again, put it back in, twang went away, running good. One thing I noticed though, on this particular gun, when I was I took it apart, I noticed it had the stock motor still in it. Now I think this is a, a Lancer Tactical GNG. I can't remember the model right now. Anyway, but it is a stock motor. And I turned it and there's like no torque whatsoever on it. Uh, we're going to test right now. I'm going to switch the camera down to be looking this way. Uh, we're going to test with 0.25 BBs in this mag. Uh, we're going to do an FPS test and rate of fire on this particular stock motor. Then I have a brand new SHS high torque motor. We're going to throw in there and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come back here. We're going to do a picture of the semi FPS, which shouldn't change. But I want to see what the difference is in the rate of fire and how snappy the trigger sounds. So right now, on semi, you've got 
not bad. Full auto, still not bad. So we're gonna do a FPS check here and rate of fire and see what we get. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll here. Now, the original FPS on this was 365 with two fives. Very consistent, uh, three, plus or minus like two or three, that was not really bad. This is the same spring, but a different piston, air nozzle, piston head, cylinder, and cylinder head. With an air seal that is 100%, and original bucking, original uh, hop up. So here we go, first shot, 395. 394, 437, that might have been a 2 0 slipped in there. 393, 394, 394, 437, 394, 393, 393. Now, I know for a fact that some 2 0s were put in that bottle that I'm using right now, so uh, I am going to switch up and Go full auto and see what we get. 401 it's telling me at 18.5. 397 at 17.2. 399 at 18.1. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a change. Um, I don't trust these BBs now anymore. I got a brand new small bag of two fives. We're going to break them out, fill the mag up, and go from there. Okay, we loaded up with a brand new, I just opened the bag up of Lancer Tactical 0.25 gram of biodegradable BBs. Uh, those original ones were Elite Force 0.25 biodegradable, but there was Tracer BBs in there, and I think there was some 2.0s in there that a guy dumped in my bottle. All right, now. Let's, uh, you can see it's saying 397 already, so 94, 94, huh, I don't think we're firing. 396. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-six. That's um, pretty hot. I might have to put a lesser spring in this. Let's try a full auto on this. 398 and 18. 399. 17.8 so it's almost 18 and damn near close to 400 Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna swap motors out and We're gonna go back to the test and I'm gonna display right here like I'm doing now Okay, new motor in there and 383 386 387 387, 384, 390, 387, 387, 388, 389. Okay, let's try a full auto burst on here. Okay, it's going 24.3 rounds per second. Let's do another burst just to see. I don't think I've got that many BBs left in the mag, but. Now it said 21, there's 23. So we'll do an average and I'll put it up on the screen here. I just had to redo this. I've been shooting it now just to empty the rest of the mag out and it's been like 390, 391, 392, it keeps going up. That's awesome that if that's the FPS right now. So 
So that's actually that's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna let that go, and we're gonna do a final conclusions. Okay, final conclusion. You saw the FPS before. You saw the FPS after. You saw the rate of fire before. The rate of fire after. Uh, I was surprised on the rate of fire. Um, maybe it's the other changes that I had to do to the gearbox, um, and I was using Elite Force. 0.25 BBs on the original test, excuse me, which had some uh, Tracer 2.5 BBs in there and some 2.0s. You saw the FPS all over the place. For the final test, I was using these Lancer Tactical 0.25 Bio BBs. Okay. Also, what changed the test as well is when I was testing the gun, I had a bit of an issue. Twenty-two. Twelve. I don't know what happened there. Let's uh, go back to semi. I just destroyed something again. Just that quick. See? Things will happen really quick. As you saw in that clip, when I was test firing the gun, uh, it totally like destroyed a couple of parts. The two... The bevel gear was fine. The other two gears are just shredded. Uh, I'm going to take pictures of them and insert them at the end. But they were shredded. So I thought, well, let's go all over everything again. I looked over everything this time. Instead of just changing out the piston and the various parts that I did before, I went through over everything. I reshimmed the gearbox, got it nice, and I did put in some different gears. Okay. Um, I think there are higher speed gears that I put in. I'm not quite sure of the ratio, but you can tell from the rate of fire to the rate of fire on the different motors. Now, this motor is supposedly has a low RPM co compared to what I had before, but the rate of fire differences is hilarious. And the FPS and everything else has changed because of the way I put the gearbox back together again, maybe this time. But at the final... Uh, FPS of like 389 to 390 let's say 388 because that was it was bouncing back and forth on that pretty good went up to 392 went down to 384 so let's put it right in the middle let's let's say 388 and call it good so 388 on this with this particular spring is phenomenal now I do have two lower springs that I can put in here but this as my outdoor field gun which I'm going to be using in the next couple of weeks is going to be awesome uh, I am going to be shooting it with 3.0s, though, of course. Uh, I just find better uh, consistency with that and everything else. So the gun is back together, okay? Uh, everything's set up, batteries on, stocks back on, the uh, whole nine yards like this. This gun is complete, and it was a journey over a couple of days. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, you guys... Have a good day. Uh, pictures of those gears right now. Let's see the gun. My, that's a big one. <laughs>